This video is brought to you by Brilliant. Okay, can we take a moment and appreciate how soft this iPad sleeve is? I mean, this is the softest full green product I have ever held in my hands. It's by a company called Harbor London named Carry All iPad Folio. This particular model is the smaller version that perfectly fits the 11 inch iPad Pro alongside any keyboard leaving just enough space for some other EDC items that you might want to keep away from your summer pockets. This sleeve for example is the only product on today's list that will only get better over time as it patinas and becomes unique. You forgot the intro of the video. <laughs> All right, fast forward the intro because at this point we are out of time. Okay. If you're looking for something more robust and more versatile in terms of internal organization, the TomTalk Fancy Case is a good alternative. Fancy Case, that's a catchy name. Yeah. Apparently this hard shell case has passed the STD... What? Go back, go back, go back. Apparently this hard shell case has passed the STD 810H military standard drop test, making it a great choice for someone who commutes faster, like on a scooter or a bike, for example. STD? What? What does that stand for? It stands for standard, you idiot. The case is big enough to fit the 11-inch iPad Pro alongside the Magic Keyboard, yet small enough to easily fit into a backpack as part of a full everyday kit, for example. The triple layer design is very unique, providing plenty of storage for all sorts of dongles, chargers, cables, etc. The surface is water repellent and combined with the YKK zippers, you can be roaming around with ease. I'll put a link to it as well as everything else in the description below. The 8-bit doll ultimate controller is the best iPad controller you can have. So I featured this pearly white marvel in my latest favorite Mac accessories video, which I can just as easily proclaim favorite iPad accessory as well and talk about it, but that would be redundant as you can simply head over to the Mac video at the end of this one to learn more about it. There, I'll also link my latest iPad accessories episode where I announced a giveaway. Both winners haven't claimed their prizes yet, so David and Keith, if you're watching this, be sure to send me a message on Twitter so I can arrange the shipping for you. I'll leave a link with the winners below. Okay, let's talk about the Combo Touch keyboard. This is Logitech's best response to Apple's Magic Keyboard, which interestingly enough is very similar to what the Big Apple offers for the baseline 10th gen iPad. A case that snaps into a detachable keyboard which draws power from the tablet itself, which just like Apple's Magic Keyboard Folio features a kickstand on the back. Unlike the Magic Keyboard Folio, however, the Combo Touch offers an all-around protection for the tablet where all the corners are safely cocooned and I'll just go ahead and say it. This is the most satisfying keyboard to touch thanks to the fabric-like finish. No nasty fingerprints to worry about, simple jeans-like experience on all the sides. By the way, if you end up enjoying this video, subscribe because... Why not? Aside from being a much more affordable alternative to my favorite Magic Keyboard, the Combo Touch also satisfies with its fantastic keyboard layout, which has a full row of iPad shortcuts, including a home button. The trackpad is also very good. What's not so good, and that's not Logitech's fault, is the lapability. Any keyboard which has a kickstand and a detachable keyboard design suffers from the same problem. It is not comfortable to use on the lap as it tends to bend and wobble all around. That's just how this design works and for that reason I tend to switch back to the all too expensive Magic Keyboard. I've talked plenty about it in the past so I won't be wasting your time with it. Instead, I'd prefer to focus on the skin since I've been asked way too too many times in the past. It is wrapped with a dbrand skin. This vinyl wrap gives the white magic keyboard the necessary protection from dirty fingerprints, ensuring that it stays white underneath. In fact, I had another dbrand skin prior to this one and let me tell you, removing it is a breeze. No residue or glue left behind, just a reminder of how white it used to be when I first bought it. This specific skin is the Arctic Camo and I'm still debating if I should have installed the Robot Camo instead, I don't know. Actually, you tell me in the comments, which one do you like better? You know, I'm not sure if deep brand robots are based on AI or they're just simple, arrogant machines. Speaking of AI, one way to stay ahead in the world of computer science is Brilliant's course Introduction to Neural Networks. It is one approach to creating artificial intelligence. With Brilliant's hands-on lessons, 
you'll get to know exactly how these networks work. For example, the course will challenge you to build a decision box to automatically perform logical operations. It unleashes a number of useful traits of mind and new skills such as logical thinking and intuition. Being that interactive tasks make learning six times more effective than passively watching tutorials, for example, it's both productive and fun, especially for busy adult learners like myself. Brilliant has thousands of lessons in math, data science, and more, with new ones added monthly. You can try Brilliant.org for free for full 30 days by just visiting brilliant.org forward slash this is e or click on the first link in the description below. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Okay, so I purchased some bullpen like tips for the Apple Pencil since I saw some ads showing that they have little to nowhere compared to the default Apple tips. As soon as they arrived, however, I was honestly hesitant to try them as they seem very unforgiving not having any softness on the tip. In fact, I haven't even tested them because I'm scared. To eliminate any stress about protecting the screen of the iPad, I always install a paper-like screen protector. This is the cleaning kit. What is this? Uh -huh. So you just use that to... This is actually very nice. All right, that's not bad. Thanks so much for choosing paper like. My pleasure. Okay, so these are the grips for the Apple Pencil. We have two sizes apparently, a small one and a big one for some reason. Aha, uh -huh. so the flat side needs to be on the flat side of the uh, grip. You can still use the grip with the iPad, that's nice. So one thing I do every time I install a protector is to turn off the device because powering it on by accident while applying the protector is very, very annoying. As always, we have two protectors in the kit and inside here, we should have everything we need to clean up the screen and prepare it for the application of the screen protector. Now, if I were to choose if I want paper like for either protection or better pencil experience more, I'd definitely pick pencil experience as it truly changes how you feel about drawing and jotting notes on the iPad. Big fan of paper like here. Next accessory I want to show you is Banks Infinity Pro Magnetic iPad Stand. In my Mac accessories video last time, I showed you the laptop alternative, but the iPad Stand is way better as it snaps and holds the iPad in place thanks to a range of built-in magnets. This is a great iPad desk accessory since it collapses into a very compact form that you can stow away in a drawer or in my case, under the desk shelf. The most satisfying thing about this stand is by far the rotating ratchet base. As you can expect, you can easily rotate and use the iPad in both horizontal and vertical orientation, as well as take full advantage of placing it at lower angles for pencil purposes. Since I got tired of my previous D-brand Apple Pencil skin, I wanted to try something different and I purchased an ESR Apple Pencil case. The two-piece design allows for dual or single color combos and the finish of the case feels very rubbery to the touch, giving plenty of grip for the avid artists or the new Final Cut Pro enthusiasts out there. Next up is the Pro version of the Pitaka Mac Easy iPad case. You can distinguish the regular case and the Pro case by the center pins on the back. With the Pro case, you can wirelessly charge your iPad thanks to an ultra-thin USB-C cable that plugs directly into the bottom USB-C port of the tablet. The case is thin enough to allow you to cradle the iPad into the Magic Keyboard while also being able to snap the pencil into place and charge it. And don't worry, you can still use the iPad's port by simply opening the flap door. To take advantage of wireless charging, you can use the included in the box puck and snap it on the back of the tablet, or the most convenient way is to use the iPad with the Mac Easy Charging Stand. Once the tablet snaps into place, it immediately starts charging and you can enjoy the elevated eye experience and position as well as the awesome 360 degrees rotation. As with everything else with Pitaka, there is more in the form of a wireless charging base on the stand. Now let's talk about something small. The Anchor USB-C adapter is a must, especially if we talk about the iPad with the single USB-C data port being the only one. Last time I purchased a bunch of those little guys and I used them non-stop. Now, there are plenty of alternatives out there, but to be honest, when it comes to adapters like that, I'd rather stick with a name brand that I can be sure won't mess up my tech. With the new release of the Final Cut Pro app on the iPad, I find more and more reasons to deal with SD cards, and for that, I always rely on the Ugreen USB-C 7-in-1 hub. This hub is able to deliver 100 watts speedy pass-through charging, as well as 4K and 60 picture via the HDMI port, in case you want to hook up the iPad to a monitor that is not USB-C equipped. While on the topic of Ugreen, this 65-watt GAN charger is perhaps the best iPad power brick alternative to the 
OEM one. Instead of paying 20 bucks for the 20 watt Apple charger, you can add another 20 and grab three times more power and three times more ports, which will allow you to power up the iPad as well as your phone or earbuds, for example. In fact, this charger is less expensive than the equally powerful MacBook charger, which will allow you to use it with the 13 or 14 inch MacBook, whether that will be the Air or the Pro. Next up is some good value earbuds from Sony. These are the WF-1000XM4s, which are the best of what Sony can offer in terms of earbuds. For $279 retail, they wouldn't be my personal choice for noise canceling earbuds, to be honest, but right now, they're 40% off, which makes them a decent, cheaper alternative to the AirPods Pro, for example. With almost eight hours of listening time per charge for a total of 24 hours with the case, those chunky boys will help you stay isolated from your surroundings. The case is not too bulky to toss in your pocket or EDC, and once you get used to the wonky positioning in the ears, you'll be good to go. If you are a laptop person, the Banks Infinity Max laptop stand that I mentioned earlier might be a nice addition to your Mac setup. So to learn more about it, as well as discovering some other cool Mac accessories, head over to my Mac accessories episode here. Like and subscribe to the channel, as well as my newsletter. And as always, it's been an absolute pleasure. This is E, over and out.